Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and we're going to continue on with dynamic sketching. And we're going to start off with uh, a side view sketch here. So uh, let's go. All right, the first thing that we want to do uh, with side when we're looking at side views is to make sure that we establish the wheelbase. Uh, if anybody has purchased or has looked at my introductory course on how to draw cars, uh, there's a DVD out there called How to Draw Cars Now, Analog versus uh, Digital Drawing Techniques. And all this is explained in detail in uh, that particular DVD set. Uh, but for your information here, we're just going to go through some quick practice exercises. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just merely getting into the habit of just practicing. So what I've done here is that I've got roughly my two wheelbase, or I'm sorry, two and a half wheelbase uh, established which is two and a half wheel lengths to establish the total wheelbase of uh, about uh, four and a half here. This is for a coupe. Actually it is for a uh, sedan. <laughs> uh, typically when you do a sedan, uh, this is more of a compact sedan, but when you're drawing a sedan then what you do typically do is to have about a three um, three uh, three lengths uh, for the wheelbase three wheel length for the wheelbase excuse me that is the the distance between the front and the rear wheels now as I uh, mentioned on the previous video where I had done a three-quarter view sketch, uh, you know, the basis of the sketch is to make sure that you're just kind of following through your line weight or following through with your, your sketch lines. This is all done by, by having a nice uh, pivot, at, pivot location on the top of your arm, your shoulder, and you're just kind of extending out. And this takes some practice. It's not easy. It's just kind of like... Um, Kind of like working out, right? I mean, anytime you start working out at the beginning, things get a little tough. You may think that you're like an Arnold Schwarzenegger or something, and you start lifting the big weights, and you can't lift the weights, and you decide to, to go a little overboard. That's the same thing here. You don't want to go overboard. You want to take it slow and easy. You want to make sure that you, you start off a little bit uh, light, and then you start building up, and that's what drawing is like. You're not going to be able to do a lot of the advanced stuff at the beginning. You want to make sure that you're doing very accurate side views. And then once you feel comfortable with the side views, you can now start to go to like a three-quarter view. All that takes time. It takes some patience. And uh, some pretty bad impersonations too. <laughs> I'm identifying the uh, greenhouse here. This is very heavily influenced by uh, uh, maybe a 3 series here. Sorta, of, kinda. <laughs> so I got the front windshield, I'm establishing the B pillar here and then we uh, bring the, the cut lines from the door notice that you know what I'm identifying is just the what that section particular section looks like we've got a little bit of character line that's located just uh, above the rear wheel there that starts to curve down to the front and that's what my section is indicating and I'm just extending the lip at the uh, front of the car and then I'm going to indicate the reflection line where the reflections would occur on the window on the curved surface of the window all this in the name of the game is to extend your lines uh, on some further tutorials as I start to 
gain a little bit more practice on my own because I don't uh, often get the time to put into practicing but recently acquired some equipment that will hopefully change that and help me to accelerate uh, some of the uh, lessons that I put on this blog site or on this YouTube channel. We got the wheels. Now we're just going to quickly add in the spokes. I'm not going to get too uh, detailed or anything here. I just want to add things pretty quickly. On further lessons, we can start to break down the the wheels and the uh, the uh, the spokes and how you communicate the uh, the form language of these things. But right now, when you're starting starting to explore shape and and get a nice looking profile. All this stuff is really not going to make uh, much of a difference. <laughs> some of my buddies that work in the OEMs, it's really, uh, it's really funny. Is that you may have some guys that are working on the exteriors and they start splitting things up once they find a theme that everybody likes or that the manager uh, goes with. They'll they'll take that sketch and then uh, different people will start working on different parts of the vehicle. So you may have one person working strictly on wheel development. But, but that's what it's all about. I mean, you need uh, that type of focus and that kind of professionalism uh, for every component of that vehicle. We may do a very quick sketch uh, at the beginning to get a, a establish a quick theme, but it's, it, it is definitely a collaborative effort uh, of many team members working together to get the best possible combination. Uh, for this car. But this is a lot of fun. I mean this is what it's all about just uh, sketching and practicing. Now these videos that I'm doing here is all real-time uh, nothing is sped up. This is my actual speed uh, if I were to do a lot more detail, then I'd probably get into accelerating the video a little bit. But at least when you look at this, you can you can tell and you can see how fast uh, you want to be able to knock these sketches out. That you don't want to labor over something very quickly. When you get into the uh, work environment, you're going to find that you're actually pretty limited on time. You don't have as much time to commit to a a finished rendering so there's all sorts of shortcuts that that people have to take when they are uh, um, communicating uh, their concepts so I hope you like this one and uh, this is uh, wrapped up and uh, we'll see you here next time dripmavens.com have a good one